<laughs> so today I'm feeling a bit under the weather, as you can probably tell. I didn't get out of bed until noon, and I was like, well, I should probably do some work. So, here I am. I was debating what kind of tutorial to do today, and through my sickness, I inspired myself to do my favorite trick of makeup, and that is how to trick people into thinking you are a productive member of society and not sick and feel like you're dying. So basically what we're going to do is do a makeup look that is very glowy and illuminated and fresh and makes your skin look alive. Look alive, friends! So let us get started with the tutorial. So I already moisturized my face with the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Clear Complexion thing. It's a moisturizer that I like to use. I'll link it down below. Um, so I'm going to start with an illuminating primer just to wake the skin up. Um, you can use any primer that claims to be illuminating. And today I'm using the L'Oreal Paris True Match Lumi Liquid Glow Illuminator in Golden. You can use, I know that there's like three of them, and you can use whatever one suits your skin color. And I'm just going to rub that all over my naked face. It smells very chemically. I have a feeling that this is not an all natural primer, but we're going for it. So I'm going to use the number 7 Airbrush Away Foundation in Cool Ivory. I'm going to drop a couple drops on the back of my hand. When I always try to count the drops, but they don't come out like uniformly. Uniformly is, I don't think that's a word. <laughs> and I'm just going to take my fingers and rub that all over my skin. I am going with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. And I'm going to draw a large triangle underneath my eyes. Because I needs it today. Underneath my eyes, in the corner of my nose, any blemishes I have on my chin. Oop on my forehead. I'm not skipping out today. And I'm just gonna take a blending sponge and blend it out. Blend it out. Push that right in to your skin. Don't rub it. Pat and push and roll. And when I'm blending my under eyes, I like to take the sponge and blend that concealer right onto my eyelid to act as an eyelid primer. And you kind of get to eliminate a step later in life. I spend a lot of time blending my face. It's so important. Blending, I think blending is the most important step in makeup application. Because if you don't blend, then you're going to have all these harsh lines and you're going to look crazy. Unless you like harsh lines, because if you like harsh lines, then you go for it. If you like your contour to be sharp enough to kill a man, then that's up to you, honey. You know? I'm going to set my face with the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and Reserve Your Cabana. This is a highlighter. I like this all over my face because it's not too much. And I just use a big fluffy brush and just pat it all over my face and set the entire face as well as those areas that you highlighted. And this just gives the most beautiful candlelit glow to the skin that I'm a huge fan of. Yeah, I'm gonna use this palette from Art. It's this cute little guy. Look at this, how adorable this is. Can you even stand it? Oh, it is the Tarte 
Double Duty Beauty Eye and Cheek Palette. And it's in the shades Classic Courage. Comes with all these gorgeous colors. There's a blush, there's some eyeshadows, and they're all very pretty illuminating eyeshadows. So I'm just gonna go in with a flat brush into Rise and Shine. So that's what I didn't do this morning. Did not rise and shine. Does anybody ever rise and shine when you really think about it? Do you ever wake up and you're like, la di da, dancing out of bed? I'm so happy in the morning. No, I feel like. No. It's like those commercials for toaster strudels where everybody's like jumping and galloping out of bed and you're like, I can't even lift my pinky out of bed in the morning. What kind of analogy was that? Sometimes I think I'm funny. Sometimes I wonder. So I'm just going to use my shader brush and I'm going to into the color Trailblazer and I'm just patting that on the outer portion of my eye, the outer half of it. The one thing that I find is lacking in this palette is a transition color. I think these could act as transition colors if you have darker skin, but for me, I cannot use these. So I'm just going to take my trusty salted caramel color from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette and just blend up into my crease. So I'm taking that salted caramel color, bringing it up into my crease with windshield wiper motions and, and taking that line, that, that color, what was it, was it Trailblazer? Yes, that Trailblazer was and blending that together with that color and kind of creating a very very subtle and almost invisible gradient so now i'm going to take yet another flat brush and i'm going in with the color rosy outlook which is a very nice peachy rose gold color and i'm going to pat that onto the middle of my eyelid to add a pop of freshness and color now I'm going to line the upper waterline with a black coal pencil. Just gonna work that in there. I'm gonna bring it into the inner corner of my eye. I can't not make a weird face when I'm doing this. I'm like, but I'm gonna bring it into the inner corner of my eye. I don't even care anymore. I am going to take the shimmer stacks from Bella Pierre, but you're just gonna take something that's glittery and pigmented and put it on the middle of your eyelid for another pop of color, just right into the center, really concentrated. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we're working. Okay. Zero. You can skip the eyeliner if you want. You can just put mascara on. This will do a lot to awaken your eyes. Or you can use a liquid eyeliner. I'm just going to take my eyeliner brush like this and hold it parallel to your face, to my face. And start in the center of your eyelid. Don't go in any further. And draw a little line. Then I'm going to work off the bottom corner of my eye and bring it up on a diagonal. My usual rule of thumb for when I do eyeliner personally is that I follow the shape of my eyebrow. So it kind of how it goes this way. I bring it down here and that's the angle that I follow. And I just brought it up not too far. I don't want to go crazy today. And then I fill in that area. And there we have the first wing. Same thing on the other side. Huh. 
<laughs> Ooh. I'm afraid to touch them. They're a little bumpy. And then I'm going to go in with the color Lucky Penny and shade my lower lash line a bit. I'm going to put some mascara on using the Charlotte Tilbury sample that I'm holding on to for dear life. And Blinking it on to my lashes. Then I'm going to do my lower lashes. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone, my inner corner, and I just use the color blonde from the Glen Stefani palette. You can use that same pigment or whatever color you used to highlight the center of your eyelid. I'm just going to fill on my brows with an eyeshadow color, any neutral brown or blonde or red or black, whatever matches your eyebrow color, whatever you need, green if you need it. Now I am going to use the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and a fluffy brush and take it up onto the corners of my forehead. As if my forehead is like a square. And I'm going to dust it right below my cheekbones. Below my jawline and onto my neck. And then anywhere that you feel you need it. Now for blush, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Paris True Match Super Blendable Blush in Bare Honey. And just taking a blush brush and going above that bronzer. It really isn't too much of a different color from the bronzer, but it really does warm up the face and give it a little bit of life without looking too dramatic. Now I'm just going to add a little highlight to the tops of my cheekbones. And if you have, it's whatever highlight you have. I'm using the, I'm going to use a Laura Mercier um, Matte Radiance Baked Powder in highlight number one. And I'm just going to dust that on the tops of my cheekbones. Just gives the skin a little life without being overly dramatic. Down the ridge of my nose, uh, Cupid's bow. I'm going to spray my face with some setting spray. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing this because you'll see. I got this tip from Kathleen Lights, and you spray on your finishing spray, and you go back in with your highlight, and it just over, just adds that extra oomph to your highlight. Because who doesn't want to look like a glazed donut all the time? I'm just going to do a very simple lip color, and I'm using the NYX Liquid Lipstick Lingerie Lipstick, excuse me, in the shade Lace Detail. And the trick with these, I love these, but the trick is you put on a layer and you have to blot it out with your fingers. Things will get weird if you don't. And that is it, my friends. This is how I trick people into thinking that I actually feel okay. Because right now, I do not. But you would never be able to tell. 
In all seriousness though, I'm really weird in the fact that when I'm sick or when I'm tired or when I have a lot to do, I need to put makeup on. I enjoy putting makeup on. I am not trying to say that I feel like I need to put it on every day, whether I'm going to the gym or the grocery store or if I'm feeling really sick. I like to. It gives me something to do and it makes me really happy to put on makeup because it's a process and to me it's kind of like an artistry to be able to paint your face into something completely different. Um, yeah, so don't hate, appreciate. And the same goes for if someone chooses not to wear makeup. They can do whatever they want. I prefer a highlight that will blind all my haters and some people prefer a really natural, beautiful look because no matter how you slice it, everyone is beautiful. Whether they're wearing makeup or they're not, um, things about them make them beautiful. Their story, their appearance, it's beautiful no matter how you look at it because we're all beautiful humans in the world. So appreciate that, appreciate yourself, love yourself, know yourself, know your definition of beauty because all the rest is just noise. See you guys later, have a good day. You know when people on YouTube do a makeup tutorial and then at the end they're like, Yeah, I can't do that.